So now the second point that we see in our geometry is a line segment. Now let us say we have two points M and N on a piece of paper. Let's say suppose this is the area of paper. Now if I have to join these two points M and N there can be multiple ways of joining, joining it. I can kind of do it like this. I can do it like this. I can do it like this. And I can also join it like this. Right? So there are different ways through which these two points can be joined. However, the shortest point, I mean if you were to take the length of this red line, of this black line and this blue line, Forgive me, this blue line is not as straight as, as it should be. But this line basically which joins these two points M and N is the shortest route, shortest route that can join two points is a line. Now two points here are M and N. So if you join the two points M and N by a straight line, that straight line is called a line. And if you have to denote this line M N, normally how would you write? You would write M N and then you put in a line above these two. Or you can also refer it, I mean if you start from M and move towards N, it is M N. If you start from N and move towards M, this way you can also write it as NM. So in both the cases you can denote it as MN or NM. Now M, what is M? M is basically the end point of line segment. Please note we are talking about a line segment here. So the line segment between M and N, M is one of the end point and N is the other end point. And a line segment is the shortest route which can connect any given two points on a surface. Now the surface can be your paper, you can be anything else, but basically a line segment covers these two papers. Okay, now let us see what do you mean by line? How is a line different from a line segment? Now we had two points M and N which we kind of join through a straight line. So this line segment was M and N. But can we say, and which was written as this. Now but if I have to extend this line, I can do it in either the direction. It can go and increase towards here. Okay, suppose these were the two points. It can also kind of go and increase towards this direction and keep on going on indefinitely. So there could be as many number of points as possible on this line. So in addition to M and N you may have a point A here, you may have a point B here. Similarly you may have a point C here, you may have a point D here and so on. There are basically M and N when we had used was supposed to denominate this particular portion on the line which is there. But the line can go on indefinitely in both the directions. Now in such a case basically the way you line donate uh, sorry denominate a line is that suppose you have to denominate MN. Let's say I want to cover this area LN. Then basically the way I write it is I would write M and okay it's already here line MN. Many a times when you have multiple set of lines in order to ensure that you kind of don't confuse as you move in your geometry you will be told that this line is line L which means this particular area. Then you may be told that you know sorry let me use a different color. This line is line say M. And you may be told that this particular line which goes from here to here is N. 
So you can denote a line either like this or you can say a line can be represented as L, M, N and so on. So a line is basically something which connects two basic points and then it can be extended in either of the direction. But when you have to cover a particular portion say M, N you have to cover then you write M, N and that will mean line MN which is denoted the way I have represented it.